Nehemiah chapter 1 verses 1 through 3, the word of Nehemiah, the son of Hakaliah. Now it happened in the month of Kislev in the 20th year while I was in Susa, the capital, that Hanani, one of my brothers and some men from Judah came, and I asked them concerning the Jews who had escaped and had survived the captivity in about Jerusalem. They said to me, the remnant there in the province who survived the captivity are in great distress and reproach, and the wall of Jerusalem is broken down and its gates are burned with fire. The lack of a city wall meant that the people were defenseless against their enemies. When Babylon attacked Jerusalem in 586 BC, King Nebuchadnezzar set fire to the temple, which is why in the book of Ezra they had to rebuild the temple. Not only was the temple burned down, but the royal palace and all the houses of Jerusalem, every important building burned down. Also the walls around Jerusalem were broken down. Verse 4, when when I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned for days, and I was fasting and praying before the God of heaven. Nehemiah's first impulse was to pray, and his prayer is in verse 5. I beseech you, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and awesome God who preserves the covenant and loving kindness for those who love him and keep his commandments. Verse 6, Nehemiah's confession of sins for himself and on behalf of the people of Israel. He says, I confess the sins we Israelites, including myself and my father's family, have committed against you. The covenant of God with the Israelite had been made with the understanding that obedience would bring God's blessings, but unfaithfulness would bring curses, captivity, and exile. So Nehemiah acknowledges this in verse 8. Remember the word which you commanded your servant Moses, saying, If you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the peoples. The dispersion was the consequence of their unfaithfulness. God had been patient for a long time, but eventually the nation was overpowered and the people were taken into captivity. Nehemiah acknowledged the necessity of obedience and the confidence that God would answer his prayer because God said he would hear and bless the obedient. So this is a prayer with expectation. God is bigger than our problems, bigger than our mistakes, bigger than our dream. I'm actually reading a book by Kaylee McKinney right now. It's called Serenity in the Storm. And it specifically talks about praying with expectation, knowing that God is going to act in our best interest and in accordance with with his plan. She says there is a moment in life when we must quit talking to God about the mountain and we start talking to the mountain about our God. We proclaim his power. We declare his sovereignty. We affirm his faithfulness. That is exactly what Nehemiah is doing praying with expectation, the confidence that God would answer his prayer because God said he would hear and bless the obedient.